Hey there, friends and video game fans. Head got shanked here with a new point and click adventure of the month. It's April now, so figured I'd start something new. Yeah. This is called Quest for Infamy. And now there's a. I think a little known point and click game made by Sierra in the 90s called Quest for Glory. And so this name absolutely must be a reference to that. And uh, that reference is mainly what made me want to pick this game up. Because, uh, well, the, the description also says that, you know, mentioned Sierra game. So I'm fairly confident that, oh my god, <laughs> the music just is funny. Uh, yeah, so this is something that interests me. Uh, indie developers in the current day, this game came from 2014. And indie developers today, uh, trying to appeal to an older audience by imitating games that, well, they just don't make games like that anymore. And that's what this would seem to be. So, let's go ahead and start a new game. Mm -hmm. Well, players of video games in the 90s will definitely be at home well, with these graphics. Is this okay? <laughs> yes, this is fine. Thank you. Okay. Free trouble. Why, well, thank you, sir. Well, I'm off. Heading north of the castle. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. It just may. Very well, sir. Uh-huh. So we have full voice acting, it would seem. Hello, my friend. Welcome. Welcome to the town of Vauxville. Huh. I trust your travels were not too unpleasant? Just fine, thank you. Excellent, excellent. My name is Udo. I am a seller of rare and precious trinkets, as well as a great source of news for the town and all across the valley. You mean, you're a gossip? Eh, call me what you may, as long as you call me friend. We'll see. Ah, gosh, yes. I like that. Please come and see me anytime you need anything. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah. So we've got walk. This is probably run or sneak. This is sneak. Definitely. Yep. And there's run. We can look. We can touch things. We can talk to things. Or we can sword things. Kill pillage and destroy that's all you think about isn't it okay that music is lovely but it's just a little loud for my taste uh can we all right that's good and let's go ahead and walk this is volksville let's see what What's going on in town here? Ooh. Here's a guy coming out of the sword place. Is that a weapon smithy? Let's let's take a look. It's the sigil for the sheriff's office. Oh, okay. Oops. It's the sigil for the sheriff's office. If you're lucky and smart, you won't spend too much time in there. I did not mean to click away from that the first time. Okay, so let's speech bubble. This must be the sheriff, huh? Good day, sir. His name is Jan. Yes, it certainly is. I would stay in chat, but I must be going. We've got so much happening today. Rayford wanted me to go get something, but I can't remember. We so rarely have public executions. You are coming to the public square, right? Oh my. Oh, sure. Of course, friend. I wouldn't miss this. Excellent. See you there. Make crime always cower in the light. Indeed. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, this should be an interesting day. 
I should make my way to the public square eventually. Well, let's see what the smithy has to say. Good day, sir. <laughs> Hello there. Ask about. All right, and this is all very familiar. This is great. My name is Niels. I'm the assistant and farrier to the blacksmith. Okay. I'm preparing shoes for the horses. Let's ask about the day. It's quite lovely. Thank you. <laughs> How about the execution? Yes, there's an execution taking place soon. I want to finish these shoes before I head down. They take me where I need to go. I made the chair myself. Oh, is he in a wheelchair? I guess. Hmm. It's a pretty quiet town. Never much trouble. Except for Gorth. He's always causing trouble. Surprised Rayford hasn't beaten him senseless yet. Okay. He's a local sheriff. He's a tough man, but he's always decent to me. My name is Niels. I'm the assistant and... Okay. Goodbye. Take care, stranger. Okay, so... It's nice that I don't have to read aloud everything that <laughs> you guys... All the text, it's... The full voice acting is really rather nice. You take a look at one of the gravestones. It reads, Walter Reed died in winter of dysentery. What a way to go. Cold and oh my god. To death. We have profanity. You shudder when you think of it. We have profanity. That is They're too busy not something with I'm dice used to. Game to talk to you. That's not something I'm used to in this genre, but they don't want to include me in their dice game? Too busy with well, we'll see about that. Did I just save? It looks like I did. Okay. Uh, let's fight them. He is here with his friends. You don't think you could take them all on at once. Okay. That's fair. Let's just see. Do I have, like, a character sheet? I sure do. Uh-huh. So, we can see that I'm good at hacking, stabbing, and slashing. In fair measure. Very good at blocking. Pretty good at climbing. And as far as those other things, not so good. Okay. Well, maybe we'll explore more around the cemetery later. Well, here's a bunch of folks. Let's look at them. At first glance, this man appears to be dressed like some kind of dark wizard. But he's smiling like a goof. It's odd to me that the music stops for the narrator. Well, this is one classy looking broad. I, I mean, uh, lady. I'm trying to be better here, people. She's a very nice woman. <laughs> Interesting. You see a surly ginger man working at Matthew's meat hut window. You can tell he just loves his job. <laughs> you can tell this gentleman sells apples by the handy apple printed icon on his apron. Hmm. Okay. Well... Oh, well, maybe we should start some conversations. Hello, sir. I'm <laughs> Dr. Frank. Doctor, friend, storyteller, and all-around good guy. Good to know. You're just like an angry mage. <laughs> no, no. I just bought these robes in the last city I visited. A Grubu. It's a great city. A messing culture. And now you're here? Oh, yes, I'm traveling north, but, you know, bridge out, so I'm staying here. <laughs> this guy sure is weird. Sounds like fun. Take it easy. Oh, yes, I will. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good afternoon, sir. Lady Kibble. Boy, you must be tired. No, I haven't been running through your mind all day. I, uh, uh... <laughs> stutter away, stutter boy. Ah, uh, boo. Well. Whew. Smooth move, Xlax. 
Good afternoon. <laughs> Wait, you must no. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to see if it would be something else. Interesting. Okay. Can we get yeah, some meat? Yeah, what do you want? Oh, and welcome to Matthew's Meat Hunt. Our meat beats your meat. They make me say that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, let's just try and buy some meat. Potato and meat skewer. Six blies. The ranger wraps up some potato and meat and practically throws it at you. What a charmer. Cool. We have some meat now, right? In our inventory? There it is. Okay. You've got your cloth armor equipped. You are carrying some food rations which are useful for staying alive. They're made out of dried fruit and nuts, smoked meats, and other assorted goodies. Okay. It's a decent sword. Better because it was free. You stole it. Okay, I'm just going to talk to this apple merchant. And Hello, then... sir. I'm Burke, and these are my apples. Can I interest you in anything? One bligh for an apple. Huh. Okay, well. Let's give him Thank some Thank you for lies. your patronage, sir. Enjoy the apple. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, the people who made this definitely, definitely played Quest for Glory. <laughs> I'm sure of it, because the interface works almost in every single way identically to that game and that's swell it's a light used to brighten the darkness and ward off evil spirits all right well we're gonna keep these episodes short uh because i it think that's like what we should do for the oh my goodness but it's not quite time yet I suggest you explore more of the mm. town. You should probably also talk to more people. <laughs> That's what I would do. But I'm not you. <laughs> Sadly, I'm just a disembodied voice. You know what? It also kind of makes me think of the Bard's Tale. And that's another... Re kind of, uh, that's a retro game. Gosh. It, well, okay, I can see there's a lot to explore in Volksville. But we'll explore it another time. Okay. Well, maybe we'll go down here and see if there's something. No? It's just a little place where you can't really walk. Okay. Well. Oh! I managed to do it. There's the inn. Okay, well. I suppose the inn is probably where we will go next time. When Head Got Shanked continues playing... Uh, Quest for Infamy. Yes, that's what it's called. So, thanks for watching, and have a good night.